Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to work with lsof command in RAN 9. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the last session, we have to understand few points which is what is lsof command and their use cases. So lsof means list open file which is used to find out which file are opened by which process. As we know very well, Linux and Unix considered uh, everything as a file format like pipe, sockets, tag trees, devices, etc. So one of the reason to use the lsof command is when a disk cannot be mount, can't be mounted, unmounted as it says the files are being used at that time. With the help of this command we can easily identify the files which are in use. So guys in this video we will review lsof command with some example. So for the demonstration purpose I have one Linux virtual machine where I have installed RAN 9.0 beta version. Okay. So let's begin the lab session. Guys, this is my Linux terminal and currently I'm using RHEL 9.0. So firstly, I will show you the OS release version of this machine. So I clear the screen, cat, etc, Red Hat release. So you can check that currently I'm using Red Hat Enterprise Linux release 9.0 beta. Okay, so let's start with the example. So I start with the first example that is list all open file. So while running lsof command without any option we will list all open files of your system that belongs to all active process so i'm just typing lsof command without any optional at the comma options at command line let's see what kind of result came out so i say lsof and press simple enter oh look at that since lsof output gives lots of information to standard output direction it will be better to use pipe operation to see this output page by page by using more command so again i run this command lsof but this time i'm using pipe and more yeah there it is so the above command output if you examine carefully it provides lots of information with the many parameters for example process that is system d which is a daemon process has the process id 1 that is pid uh, then we have a user is a root user and we have fd that is file descriptor uh, like cwd and etc rtd txt mem so the fd come up with many values as one is aware that file descriptor is generated for any uh, open file automatically in linux system sections are the and their values are self explanatory however we will focus fd and type columns so fd means stand for file descriptor and many uh, see some of these value and we see some of these values like cwd cwd is current working directory if i'm talking about rtd that is root directory txt that is text program text that means code and data mem that is memory mat file something like that okay and also in the fd column we have some numbers like uh, if i go a little bit down here see that is 67u and something uh, little bit scroll down like look at that it's 0u 1u 2u 3u something like that okay so 1u is actual file descriptor and followed by u r w of its mode which is known as r for read access w for write access and u for read and write access okay and then if we're talking about the type suppose i go talking about the type so here we have uh, different types like directory and uh, reg means regular file chr means corrector file and sometimes we find out fifo look at that these are the chr that is corrector file similarly we have some uh, let me show you fifo So that is reg so fifo is also a first yeah look at that here it is fifo so fifo means first in first out that is pipe or socket file okay so now the other fields that are displayed uh, along with there have own meaning and its importance like device device means device id size oblique of that means actually size of this process taking during uh, runtime and node typically no inode number of the directory or parent directory and name name me path or link okay so now let's take one more example uh, this time i'm i'm saying uh, list open file by file name 
so I have a simple command lsof and this time I say go with proc directory okay so once I press enter as you were aware that a slash proc will be existing only during the lifetime of the Linux operating system this directory contains lots of important process related information so executing lsof on slash proc will throw interesting output for us which is going to which is already explored so this is how you we can list open file by given any file name after lsof command now move to the next example which is list open file by username so uh, in this system i have one user which is known as uh, ram see id ram is already user is already created so lfos can be used for all the user who have logged in into the linux system in this case lsof will display all the open files for the respective user so uh, suppose if on a list all the open file for root user we have the option lsof hyphen u means your yeah, username and then we can simplify more so this command will display the list of all open file of user root so you can go with the third column that is root user and here it is root 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 okay so similarly if you want to list all open file except root user we can use caret symbol in the front of root user so what i meant to say i mean to say lsof hyphen u and then I use caret and the username so this it will show list open file of all user except root user so if we observe the user field we have and uh, we have different user except root okay so this is the under command through which we can find out the list uh, open files all user except root user now move to the next one uh, list open file by particular port number to find out all the running linux process of a specified port we can run lsof command with hyphen i option so we have lsof space hyphen i then we can identify it's a tcp based protocol or udp based protocol and then call in and the port number so in this way we can list the running process of port number 22 see it is active and listening position so here we are defining the uh, and and we have one more option suppose to list of all open files on tcp port from port range 121024 then we can use a command in a such manner like um, 121024 so here we are defining port range look at that so to list all udp process on Linux system, we have the option we can use lsof i rather than TCP. I can go with UDP. So, once I press into UDP, it shows me the UDP process. Similarly, I have the option I can use only TCP, it shows the TCP process. Okay, now move to the next one, which is find out who's looking what file and command. So for this, we can use hyphen L and hyphen U option with lsof command to find out who's looking what files and command. So for, for this, I open another terminal, switch to the RAM user and for testing purpose, I run only the simple ping command. Okay, now I'm back to this terminal and I run the command lsof hyphen L hyphen U and which user I point out to the RAM user. But before, uh, but when I press enter, let's see this is showing user ram is using command like ping and access some directories so these are the all the uh, important fields i have made, i have can i can see that by running this command lsof hyphen l small u and the ram okay so i stop it close come back again on my same screen now move to the next one which is list open file with network protocol so if you want to list open file with network protocol we can use hyphen i option with lsof command to list all network related process or commands so lsof command with hyphen i option so this time i use hyphen i option shows the list of all network connections uh, it could be listening and could be established so when i press enter lsof space hyphen i it shows me the list open file with network protocols now move to the next one list file by process id or could be process name so let's assume we want to list the process or command that belong to a specified process id 
so for this we can use hyphen minus p option with lsof command so let's take the example of ssh process so first of all we grab the ssh pid with the pgrep command i run the command pgrep sssd so here's the process id is 832 now i run the command lsof minus p and the process id is 832 again i can use pipe more so this is how i can list file by the process id similarly way in the same way we can use the process name to grab the list open file suppose you didn't want to go with the process id you have the option you can go with lsof hyphen c and the process name so we can also list the file open file uh, by the multiple process using hyphen c option hyphen c and the ssh see the output will be the same okay now move to the next one kill all the process that belong to a specified user so for this again i log in with ram user and run some command for testing purpose now the point is uh, i want to kill all the process that belong to a ram user how can i do that so for this i can go lsof command become very handy where we want to kill all the process that belong to a specified user suppose we want to kill a process that belong to a particular ram user or any user so we have a simple method run the command kill hyphen 9 and then i can use um, lsof hyphen t hyphen u and the username ram now I press enter see it's terminated it's killed look at that here it is mentioned that is killed okay so I log out from there so this is how we by using this command we can kill all the process that belong to a specified user now move to the next one list all open file for a specified device so for this we use lsof and the device name to grab the device name information we can run lsblk command so i said lsblk list block id like list block device id and here we have uh, nm nvme 0 and 1 or we can have one more command uh, that is blk id block device id blk id yeah here it is so now i have the command lsof list open file and uh, suppose i go with the root partition so i just copy that and paste and i said pipe more so press enter see the following command can be used to list all open files on dev nvme0 and one p2 partition so this is how you can identify list all open files for a specified device it could be dev sda or vda or whatever so we can identify using blk id command to list a block device id now move to the next one list terminal related open files so for this we can use lsof and the terminal name so for the testing purpose i am on the other terminal and run the simple ping command one more time but before do that let me check tty the terminal that is pts1 okay i started ping process on pty on pts1 so here i have a simple command lsof dev and pts pts slash one see so look at that it's a ping and a bash so the following command is used to identify for all open files on the pts1 now we have one more example how to list open file containing directory let us assume we want a uh, list all open file under slash where log directory then use of the following lsof command in a such way lsof plus capital d slash where log okay so in the above command if we use plus capital d option then lsof will list all open files of a directory recursively and if you don't want to list open file of directory recursively then we can use small d rather than i can you replace small uh, capital d with small d okay so this will show you the list of open files of directory recursively 
now move to the next one list block deleted files sometimes uh, it happens that the files are deleted in a linux but still are being logged by one or more process as such those files don't list on the normal file listing using ls command but they still consume disk space or reported by df output this happens especially for the large file deleted on purpose to clear the disk space without releasing the process log so you can find such process using lsof command so i run the lsof command slash pi grep t e l e t e d deleted see here it is deleted and root and the process id so to release the space from the file system we can safely kill the process by its pid and it's released so guys this is how we can work with the lsof command in run 8 and finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with the new uh, interesting topics till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye